40 miles southwest of Tucson, between Arizona's Coyote and Baba Caveri Mountains, is an old west ranch town like no other. Cowtown Quilaco was built by this man, Ed Quilaco. That's Edward J.B. Quilaco. All with his bare hands. That's right. Like any old west town, Cowtown Quilaco has a church, a bank, a cemetery, and a saloon. But unlike most other Old West towns, this cow town is still standing. All because of this man. I drank to that. Mm. I built everything here. Everything you see around here was done with a small truck. I had no machinery, but I figured out how to do it. Even that water tower, that one there, I hauled that with a pickup truck. Why exactly did Edward J.B. Kilako build his own town? Ed, born to a black mother and white father, was orphaned at a young age in Jim Crow America. My childhood was rough. I was light skin, red hair, green eyes. I can remember a young kid climbing a tree runs. He told me, hey, look up in this, look up here, I'm up here, and he urinated in my face. And those are the kind of things that you'd have to live with, because you, if you look like me. From these hardships, Hilako developed his independent frontier spirit. Wouldn't you say so, Ed? I paddled my own canoe like they say in the West, sat in my own Bronx. I rode it out, I done all of this. With this lesson in mind, Ed constructed an Old West utopia. Four decades later, Cowtown continues its celebration of individuality with a biannual event known as Kilako Days. People like to come to Cowtown Kilako. There's no hatred here, no racism, we accept you who you are. You can dream of things that never were and say, why not? That's the way I, my mind thinks. A lot of people thought I was crazy. I suppose, maybe I am. Maybe I am. <laughs> maybe I am. <laughs>